So what we are doing <clears throat> is a place and a leave it today. <clears throat> this is gonna help with her food boundaries. Ah. But the thing is, I know it's busy around the house. I know, I know, I know it's busy. You gotta work with her for just a few minutes on it, okay? Just have one of the kids on um, <laughs> Ruby Duty. <laughs> Have them on Ruby duty for the food. One, two, five, ten minutes of this, okay? I work on this in intervals throughout the day, okay? So right now, we always like to start our mornings <clears throat> on the right foot. Good. Place? So she has a place command. She's getting that. So let's talk about that first, okay? We got a lot to cover here. We've done a lot uh, before we recorded this video, and that motivation that I wanted from her is back up because we're using food. Um, she was absolutely wiped yesterday after our park trips. She slept off and on most of the day um, and didn't play too much. So that was good and it was stimulating. So let's start with the place. This is what's called the capturing behavior, okay? Capturing behaviors are touch. Come on. I was telling her to say, come on. Capturing behaviors are doing a behavior that is learned that I don't really have to tell her much. Good place, good place. So give her the voice command, walk away. Try it again, go up to it, point. Good girl, and use the treat. So, I mean, I can even, at this point in our lesson, we've been going for a bit, I just kinda <clears throat> cut them in half or four. Good place. Okay, come on. So this is our priming exercise for today, is a place command, okay? This is to get her ready for the main event and to put some context into having restraint for her. Putting that restraint into context, rather. Very nice, love her. Need to clean her a little tears. Poor thing, okay. So with capturing behaviors, this is super important, okay? This is how we really are able to communicate without having to raise our voice, without having to repeat ourselves over and over. Uh, uh, uh. And when you start seeing that little head up on things like shelves, counter spaces, kitchen tables, that's a no-no. So what, good. I, 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 I'm hoping that this is an analogy thing. I'll, I'll report back. Um, but with with that sort of thing, um, you know, you really got to catch it, you know. Ah, so see, I see that she's on the prowl. I know her well enough now. This is why I needed that extra time. This is why I needed that extra time. Good. Might have some allergies. Might give her a Benadryl today, actually. Okay, let's get back to it. So capturing behaviors, super important. It's going to implement that luring that I talked about last week. Let's take a little scratch break. Hold on. Your ear looks good, girl. Come on. Come on. Okay, so let's get to the main event. I'm sensing her um, her motivation waning. So, this is a little piece of just a mozzarella cheese stick. She is not to have this, okay? She's not to have any sort of treat of this. Um, what we want to do is teach her self-control. So, let's start our leave it exercise, okay? I want her to work right here. First step, <clears throat> ah, no. Hold her accountable. Pull that back, ah, ignore that. That's so cute. Good, leave it, ah, let's try it again. So we're gonna reset, come back. Ah, good, good, leave it. So any sort of motion that she's gonna do that's gonna take herself away. Very nice, leave it, love that. Love that focus from her. This is brilliant. This is now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with her, okay? Starting to really figure things out with her. Um, <clears throat> there's been a lot to do, and I think that's okay. I don't want you guys to feel like it's, you know, abnormal or weird or that she's a strange dog. She's a beautiful dog, an amazing dog. A dog that has a lot of capabilities. But what I was struggling with, with is finding a way to communicate, but that takes time. Good, it just does. So we got we got a few lessons together to be able to do that, um, and to, for us to be able to communicate. So, got that piece of cheese still intact. 
Step one, close hand. You can put it right there. Go to your place. Good girl. Good, excellent. Okay, so that's step one complete of leave it. Step two, an open hand. <clears throat> this is something she is really doing well at. <clears throat> open hand. This is gonna help. Yes, good, leave it. I don't, oh Lord, that was a projectile. So this is something she's been doing really well with. Good, and it teaches her boundaries directly, directly, I mean, head on. It is such an acute um, training lesson for behavioral stuff. This is usually included in basic obedience stuff, but it can be great for behavior modification. Ah, ah. So I reset myself, okay? So it can be great for behavior modification as well. So that's our resets right there, okay? Anytime we, she really crosses that boundary, breaks that threshold of that, then I, then I end it, I walk away, and start again. Place, excellent work. I am rewarding that quite a bit. I really want that to hit home for her. I want her to have a safe space that she can go so she doesn't feel like she needs to bark when people come in. We'll, we'll address that in your house together, but first, and what we really need to focus on is just getting the command down. Okay, we'll build on it later, um, another time, as she progresses through all this training, and probably once she comes home. Come on, place. I know, I know it's getting tough. I know it's getting tough. She's getting, she's getting tired of it. So let's start. Part two. Leave it. Yes, excellent work. Good girl. Good girl. Leave it. Excellent work. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from you. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't break it. All right, step three. On the ground. Leave it. Cover it up. Yes, good leave it. Excellent work, my love. I love this dog so much. It has such a fun time. Ah. Leave it. Leave it, not breaking a boundary. I mean, obviously, it would if she, um, it would if she um, jumps or something like that, but you set your boundaries, okay? But just looking at it, just maybe pawing at it, that's, that's not breaking a boundary. It's when the behavior is not controlled from her. How about that? So when you see like, ah, that's not a controlled behavior. Just a little stare and a paw, that's controlled. That's normal dog behavior. There we go. We're just slowing things down for her. Slowing things down. And if you want to take it further, let's go to step four. We did not try this before I filmed. So let's just see how we do. Right here, place. We're almost done, my love. Almost done. Ah, I want to set that down there. Set those right there. She can see them. They're in plain sight. You see it? I haven't done leave it in a while, honestly. I, I need to reintroduce it a little more into my training. Leave it. Excellent work. That's brilliant. A toss. A leave it. Hey. Boom. And we're going to end there. We are going to end on that note, okay? I want you to follow these steps. You know, take your time. Be patient. Be patient with her. But this is helping her impulse control. This is what I do. This is what I love. And I'm really connecting with that with your dog, Ruby. Um, she even got to go meet my hairstylist, Ruby, yesterday. It was really, really sweet. So we're going to pack up. We're going to have a great day. I still have a head. I'm being kind of silly. I'm kind of on a runner's high right now. So hope everything is well with you guys. And we're going to sign off and talk to you soon. Bye.